Howdy everyone, it's me once again, the one and only Killer Dan. And today, as you can see, I'm going to be reviewing another toy, of course. So, since I guess you can say it's been a good while, I've spoken about like giant monsters or whatever, the kaiju genre, mutated creatures, you know, stuff like this. So yeah, it's been a, a good, it's been a good minute. So I just figured I could use this as an excuse to talk about this kind of a thing. Even though it's technically toys, I guess you can say, but whatever, I guess. But yeah, I just thought, why not? Might as well just do this kind of a thing. Just to, I guess, talk about giant monsters or whatnot. Even though for the time being, I'm not, I'm not reviewing the movies, I guess, but I have to do something in regards to the giant monster genre. Like I said, giant bugs, giant spiders, whatever the case may be. I have to do something in regards of this kind of, I guess, genre features and whatnot. So I just thought, what the hell? Why not toy? This specific toy line for the Toho series, classic line, I guess you can say, and whatnot. So yeah, Rodan. So I just thought, talk about him because... I didn't mention him before, like, way long ago. And yes, I did review his film a while back, folks, in case and anyone's wondering. So, yeah, he only has one movie that he's by himself, I guess, a solo film. But, yeah, I thought about reviewing his film, but, oh, yeah, that's right. I already did it. So, there's that. So, anyway, I just thought this reviewing a toy based on this specific movie. It would be a good idea. So, yeah, you can actually tell that he is modeled after that version of the character. You can tell by the feet. It was pretty much like the character. Pretty much identical to the character. You can see the, the toy. You can actually see that this one actually has something. But in the background, it has a design of this Godzilla from this timeline. Even though in this continuity, Rodan did appear. But I know that sounds confusing, but bear with me here, folks. But this version actually appeared in the previous continuity. So I just find it kind of odd that design from the Hasey series is on the background with that creature with that character that came out the previous continuity. So what the hell? Okay, that might sound nitpicky. I just brought I just thought I'd talk about it. But like I said, I like the box too. Giving you an indication of which Rodan this is supposed to be based upon. I like the color though. The color is really nice. And it's not just one shade of brown either, of course, so that's that's pretty good. I like that. I like the fact that it's just quite detailed in its own little way, folks. So, yeah. This can be available in stores, obviously, when it comes to maybe, like, places like Target. Because that's, that's where I saw some of these. I just thought i will just do a review for this, considering the fact that I, li I like these types of movies. Giant monsters and whatnot. Even in the back, you see the... These characters and whatnot. You see in his beak, his over shape. You you can easily recognize that this is supposed to be a certain type of monster. So yeah, I like the cut like we're saying with the box. The box itself, overall design, it's pretty good. I like the way it looks, the way it's designed as a whole, because you can easily tell that quite a bit of effort was actually used for this, folks. So yeah, you can obviously tell that those actually leave some care. And yeah, but I don't know, I've been reviewing some bad toys. I just thought I'd just review maybe a good one for once. So here we go. So here we go. And um I like, like I was saying, I like the design overall of this. You can tell what type of character he is. Of course he's supposed to be some sort of dinosaur, or at least a mutated creature of some kind, of course. He spits up fire, of course, and he has uh, his own abilities. He can use his wings to create these gusts of wind and whatnot, so there's that. But yeah, for you, something that's based upon the original continuity of these movies seems seem like a good idea because, uh, because of the fact that I know a lot of people are familiar with this timeline, I guess you can say. But yeah, the thing is that I try to look more into it when it comes to the people who who made this, because like I said, uh, it's belong belonging to the Toho series, of course. And this may, I'm pointing that out because there's been more than one 
Yeah, well, people don't seem to realize that there's there's actually been more than one company that has been making these kind of characters based on these movies. So there's been, yeah, a large number of different companies have been doing this. So, again, it's, I do realize that's kind of confusing. So you can try to look it up more, of course, but you might come across, like, different toys from different companies. Yeah, quite a few of them. There's, there's a lot of these out there, folks, and I do mean a lot. So, yeah, finding these kinds of toys might, or at least a specific kind of toy, might be a bit of a headache in this case, yes, the pain in the ass, and that I will admit, obviously. But, yeah, if you don't mind doing a bit of um digging, doing a bit of homework here, it's definitely going to be worth worth and wide. Because on to me, folks, I can honestly say that this was definitely a good toy. I do recommend buying it. Yeah, maybe it might be a little bit on the expensive side. It might be close to twenty bucks because some of these might be like fourteen or fifteen dollars plus tax. So yeah, it might be a bit on the expensive side. So yeah, just thought I'd let you know. If you don't mind spending that kind of money, assuming you have the kind of money anyway, then sure you can go ahead and buy it, obviously. But like I was saying, folks, I was trying to have some sort of excuse to talk about some giant monster related stuff. Anyway, I'll give this toy an overall rating of a 7.2 out of 10. It's a 7.2 out of 10 for me. And of course, as always, thanks for watching and take care. Until next time, see you.